are not in manicure and pedicure mistakes that can spoil the image of your nails. Here are the reasons. Not washing your toes. So sanitizing your toes should be the first step on your number one priority. Next, number two, cutting your cuticles it is a major health risk due to the fact that you have unprotected cut on your fingers which could potentially get infected. In addition to that, when cuticles start growing again, they come back flaky and messy looking which completely ruins your look. Number three, not using base code. Base coat is unnecessary, uh, di, di ba nga, sabi nila, but and they said it is a waste of time. So, they skip this step. But base coat, base coats rather, originally created to bind with your natural nails and make your manicure last up to one week longer. Yes, and that's true. Four, applying thick coats of polish. Thick coats of nail polish take twice as long to dry and underneath take approximately five to six minutes, which is a recipe for a smudge. So when, is it? when the smudge is there, so it's a disaster. So the best thing to do is apply three to four thin layers of nail polish instead of one or two thick layers next number five using q-tips or curtain bags when nail polish gets on the skin around the nail we just get a cotton pad or a cotton bud and start wiping but it takes the slightest motion to bring chaos to the whole look and have to start over from the beginning. The cotton fuzzes, no matter how many millimeters they are away from the wet nail polish, they have also a tendency to stick to the manicure and ruin the whole look, forcing you to start from the beginning. Oh, that's not good. Number six filing back and forth so when you say filing back and forth that is not good so filing should be in a circular motions or in a one direction to prevent your nails from becoming weaker and to help you avoid spending spending money or treatments to help them recover later hmm? but next. number seven not applying polish underneath the edges not applying nail polish underneath the edges applying nail polish around and underneath the edges will prevent your manicure from flaking during various activities that include water like doing the dishes or washing your hair or washing your clothes so applying nail polish underneath the edges will seal the area completely and will help your manicure last up to five days longer number eight so this is number eight number eight drying nails in a cold water when you dip your fingers in a cold water or mostly or some of us doing this um, in a cold water and wait them to dry that is actual actually thus is harden the manicure and causes it to be de-attached from the nails since it was never completely dry so instead of dipping your fingers in the cold water let them air dry naturally and if you are in a rush use a fan 
Okay. Number uh, nine. Shaking your nails. I mean, shaking your nail polish bottle. By shaking the nail polish bottle, we are essentially mixing the air trapped inside the bottle with the nail polish, which causes tiny bubbles, otherwise known as tiny packets. Instead, I mean, instead of shaking your nail polish, roll it slowly in your hands horizontally. Okay, and that's it. And thank you for watching. Sana po nakakatulong po sa ako, ako po sa inyo. And I have some questions here. So, have you tried any of these tips? What advice would you give us? Please Share your experience in the comment below so that everyone can learn. And that's it. Thank you.